Hi, this is Stephanie from Our Natural Wisdom. Have you ever noticed that when you're especially needing to work through something on a personal level that you are approached by others who are working through the same and there's an opportunity to learn from each other's experiences? Well, it's definitely happening for me and it's um, around the issue of buffering. Um, buffering, if that word is new to you, is um, habits, actions, things that we do that help soothe us when we're experiencing discomfort, but actions that do not serve us. So buffering can take, take so many forms. Um, and uh, I certainly have um, my own buffering challenges that I have been working through in this time um, and I've been um, increasingly clients are coming to me with buffering um, challenges that they're experiencing as well and I have been really meditating on this and praying about this um, to gain additional clarity and a depth of understanding about it. And the thing that has really come to the forefront for me is how powerful it is to connect with the wisdom of animals when it comes to acknowledging our buffering behaviors. And this is because animals are they're ever present. They are they live in the moment. They are not fixated on what's happened in the past or what is going to happen in the future. And that is the basis of our buffering patterns that don't serve us is when we're worried about the past or we're worried about the future. And we are not in the now, in the moment. Um, so I'm just realizing how much wisdom there is to be found in more deeply leaning into our connection with animals, whether it's animals that we live with, our pets, our, um, our loved animals, companion animals that we see all the time, or animals that you may uh, observe from your windows, from indoors. And while I know that animals are very different than us, they have such beautiful wisdom to share with us about the power of being present. Now, presence is not about um, ignoring our goals or just, you know, being totally naive and blasé. In fact, it is a really, um, it's, it's a challenging practice to practice presence because our ego minds love to get in the way of our experience of presence and tapping into the power of being present as human beings. Um, as I was meditating on this during a walk, I do a lot of active meditation, moving meditation. I had a hundreds of sandhill cranes fly over me with their just wonderful cacophony of sound. I love the sound of sandhill cranes and cranes are such symbols of wisdom. They are a symbol of longevity and of clarity of purpose. And I think any animal that migrates is especially powerful for us to connect with in these times because not only do they have to have a beautifully present quality in their behavior, but they have a goal in mind. They are moving toward something. They are moving toward their higher purpose, toward attaining something, which is exactly what you are doing as well and I am doing as well. So when we talk about the power of presence, I want you to know that it's not just about forgetting about your goals and about what you want to achieve in this life. It will open you up to receive more of the gifts that the universe has in store for you so that you are able to move toward those goals step by step while being present. 
So I hope that this resonated for you. I would love to hear from you about your connection with animals, especially animals that migrate and the wisdom that they may have for you regarding the power of presence and your ability to have compassion for yourself when you recognize that you are engaging in buffering behavior. It's not about a quick fix. Buffering is often a long habit. Uh, um, something that we have done over and over again and those things take time to change and we want first of all to attain a level of self-compassion and acknowledging that we are in need of soothing in that moment and then going deep into a sense of presence so that we can access the now rather than fixate on the past or worry about the future if this kind of work resonates with you, please um, check out my group coaching program for women. It is a seasonal program. It's a really unique program that merges practical and mystical tools and approaches. It is called the Sacred Grove. You can learn all about it at OurNaturalWisdom.com slash the Sacred Grove. I have early bird rates until um, tomorrow. Monday, I'm sorry, uh, Tuesday, um, the December 1st is the last day of the early bird rates, but the winter enrollment is open until December 20th. It is a seasonal program, so it runs from the winter solstice to the spring equinox. And please check out that website for more information about it. It's a beautiful gathering, virtual gathering of women who are like-minded, who are interested in following their soul's calling to reawaken their power of presence through Mother Earth. OurNaturalWisdom.com slash The Sacred Grove. Thanks. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.